Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are heading towards Buchan Caves. Buchan Caves are a drive of about 45 minutes from lake entrance. The beauty around the area is breathtaking. But what we saw under the ground in the cave is unbelievable. It's just fantastic. Come along with me and enjoy the work of nature. And please comment and tell me how you enjoyed the video. So we are at the Royal Cave discovered in 1910. Three years earlier, uh, the fairy cave was discovered. And the fairy cave is up through there. If you went through the octopus chain, as we call it, you crawl through, come out the other end, and the only way to that fairy cave was through a little uh, cap that the size of the dinner plate. I opened it out and people came in there. Oh, the water and mud are landed right here. And I found in 1929 when the uh, when the management here decided they put a new tunnel in, they got they came in from the outside. When they got to right here, they found bones from a skeleton which was more than my arms could reach. Nothing grows that big these days. They rank the Bell Museum. They grimstone pools or perimeter pools. Up above, those little fine ones are called straws. Anything on the roof is a stalactite. The straw is a type of stalactite. Anything coming up from the floor is a stalagmite. If a stalactite joins a stalagmite, we'll change the name to column or pillar. Everything is made of calcite. Remember I was talking about the rock actually dissolving at the beginning? Yeah. Well, all that water that still flows through, it's got little dissolved microscopic particles of calcite in it. And everything is formed by water flowing or water dripping. I'll start with water flowing. Water's been flowing over here for over a million years. Little particles have just clung on. Must be the rocky ledge underneath. Little particles cling on and build up. Those pools back there, you might have seen some floaty bits on top. They are what we call calcite rafts. Those rafts will actually float around and eventually cling on to the edge of the rim. So we call them rimstone pools. The most things are formed by rain falling outside, coming down through the atmosphere, through the rock, into the chambers such as this, through a little crack like that one or maybe the more porous sections like there, there and down there. When it comes through it forms a little droplet and the droplet will form, it will fall down, a little ring of calcite. That will often grow downwards into the soda straw. But that's why it's always 17 degrees by the way, middle summer, middle winter. And that's also why there's no creatures, no bats or possums or snakes or spiders. They can't get in, they can't get out. And also the moisture cannot get out. So there's 95% humidity, that's a dead end, that's a dead end. 95% humidity, crystals grow in moist conditions. So in these drought years, the last couple of years, we've had really dry conditions, and there's no more dripping, or hardly any, but there's still enough atmospheric moisture for the crystals to continue to grow. So, yeah, so that, that's why we've got the sparkle. No sparkle outside, because the wind and the sun dries everything out. And a lot of those big, beautiful caves you see elsewhere, interstate and overseas, a lot of them have got fantastic formations and they don't have sparkle. And that is because most of them have at least one chamber or passageway to the outside. So the air gets in and it dries it all out so they don't have the same crystal growth. We're lucky, these are small caves. We can actually close the entrance off. You might have noticed we had that door from, from roof to floor. And that's, well, the main reason to keep the creatures out. We don't want bats in here because they work here naturally. But the other spin off or the other advantage is that it helps to keep it nice and moist. Sections. And in the dark grey, that's the best contrast. You can actually see the little white things. They're seashells and corals and marine fossils dating back 400 million years. Now remember, the dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Okay, these are not as big or as exciting, but they're much, much older. And uh, yeah. all right, one more thing. Those little squiggly ones. They are called helictites. See the little ones there? They look like worms or noodles. Now those helicides, sometimes they cling to the straws, other times they cling to the roof. But they're a real mystery to the scientists. And you'll see much better ones up ahead. I just want to show you.
Okay, you go back through there. I'll, I'll move. Okay. I'll move forward. Yeah. Okay. We're now in the re chamber. And in the re chamber here, uh, we've got a lot of spark. There's a little ring of calcite that will often grow down on, into the soda straw. And ripstone pearls or perimeter pearls. Up above, those little fine ones are called straws. Anything on the roof is a stalactite. The straw is a type of stalactite. Anything coming up from the floor is a stalagmite. If a stalactite joins a stalagmite, we'll change the name to column or pillar. Everything is made of calcite. Remember I was talking about the rock actually dissolving at the beginning? Yeah. Well, all that water that still flows through, it's got little dissolved microscopic particles of calcite in it. And everything is formed by water flowing or water dripping. I start with water flowing. Water's been flowing over here for over a million years. Little particles have just clung on. Must be the rocky ledge underneath. Little particles cling on and build up. Those pools back there, you might have seen some floaty bits on top. They are what we call calcite rafts. Those rafts will actually float around and eventually cling on to the edge of the rim. So we call them rimstone pools. The most things are formed by rain falling outside comes down through the atmosphere, through the rock, and a chamber such as this through a little crack like that one, or maybe the more porous sections like there, there, and down there. When it comes through, it forms a little droplet, and the droplet will form, it will fall down, water space. Now we are out of the caves. We had a wonderful experience in the caves. It was just out of the world. Do comment and tell me how you liked the video. Your comments will be highly appreciated. Thanks for watching my video. Have a good day and stay safe and healthy.